One of the ways that we like to summarize the information that's given to us by an equation in two variables is making a table of the solutions. So for example, if we have the equation 4x minus y equals 16, we could create a table in which we pick several values of x and find the corresponding values of y. I'm going to try the values x equals negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. We could work this out each time by hand. So I plug in x equals negative 3. So I have negative 12 minus y is 16. Add 12 to both sides. I have negative y equals 28. Multiply both sides by negative 1. And we get y is negative 28. Now we plug in x equals negative 2. 4 times negative 2 minus y is 16. Negative 8 minus y is 16. Add 8 to both sides. Negative y is 24. Multiply both sides by negative 1. We get y is negative 24. That seems like kind of a pain. Isn't there an easier way? Well, yeah, there is. Rather than solving the equation each time, we can solve for y, and then we'll be able to just plug in our variables one at a time. So we have 4x minus y is 16. Subtract 4x on both sides. We have negative y is 16 minus 4x. Now multiply both sides by negative 1, and we'll get y is, you know, I'm just going to write the opposite of 16 minus 4x. And now I can just plug in my x's. So x is negative 1. y is the opposite of 16 minus 4 times negative 1. y is the opposite of 16 plus 4. 16 plus 4 is 20. So this will be the opposite of 20. When I plug in x equals 0, I have y is the opposite of 16 minus 4 times 0. 4 times 0 is 0. 16 minus 0 is 16. That works out to negative 16. Now there's an even easier way if you happen to have your calculator. We solve for y, and then we use the calculator's table function. Check it out. I take my equation that I've solved for y, negative parenthesis 16 minus 4x. Remember to the calculator, every independent variable is called x. And now we understand this as an equation in two variables, y and x. When we look at the table, this is exactly the table we're trying to create. x in the left-hand column, y in the right-hand column. So I scroll until the x's that are visible are the x's that I'm interested in. And then I just copy into the table. x is 0, y is negative 16. x is 1, y is negative 12. 
x is 2, y is negative 8. x is 3, y is negative 4. This table is just the table that the calculator creates. Now the reason that we want to make a table like this is that very often that's actually the information we're trying to find. Very often we're trying to answer questions that can best be answered by looking at a table. Furthermore, often a, a real-life situation lends itself most easily to being described by a table. And we'll see an example of that in the next video.